All right. right, now there's a younger female coming through, and what I'm getting with her is um, a very quick passing, and I'm feeling like, it almost feels like my lungs are exploding, um, and this was abrupt, this was quick, and I feel a collapsing sensation. Does this make sense with anyone? Over here? All right, hold on. Um, was she like a real girly girl? Okay, <laughs> I'm getting like this whole girly girl, real feminine. Um, she wants you to know that with her passing, she, and please forgive me, she was very much afraid, but it wasn't very long. It was over pretty quick, and that she's very much at peace. Um, she's talking about toast and, and bread and carbohydrates. Did she sort of avoid that sort of thing? I, I don't know. I, I can't. You need a whole bunch. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know that. All right, toast, bread, carbohydrates. She was like, does that make sense with somebody else? Somebody who was really, really um, very picky about what she ate. She was watching what she ate. So that would then be a? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, tomatoes. Do tomatoes make sense to you in any shape, form, or fashion? Love them, hate them. Did she love them, hate them? Tomatoes. I do. I, didn't, I don't recall if she did. You do what? I love tomatoes. Okay, so that answer then would be a? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening is spirits are presenting pieces of evidence. Okay, she was watching what she ate. You have an issue with the tomatoes. All right, now let's get a message from her. Well, she have some connection with mountains? She showed me lots of mountains, mountains, higher altitudes, mountains, thinner air. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah, well, she lived up by, by the White Mountains up in New Hampshire. So the answer would be? Yes. 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 <laughs> and, and you're a great sport. I appreciate that. All right, let's get a message. You keep writing something over and over, something about writing. There's this note. There's a significant writing. Does this make sense to you? Yes. She wants to acknowledge this. And in some ways, it breaks your heart, yet in other ways, it's very healing for you. So you don't have to stop. You don't have to take this writing or do anything to it. You need to hold it, treasure it in your heart. Interesting, she's showing me this little pink heart. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, well, my, my sister-in-law, Audrey, um, passed away of lung cancer. And um, when I went to um, fly to bring her back, she was away. And um, walking on the beach sand, I picked up a little heart from the sand. It was made from the sand, a and rock. Th there you go. A All gift right. from heaven. We'll God right bless back. you. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> and here it is right here. This is the heart that Mark talked about that Sandra found on the beach. That is a heart-shaped rock. <laughs> uh, you can catch Mark at Body, Mind, and Soul tonight and tomorrow. He will be discussing near-death experiences and how connecting with the loved one in spirit can be an important therapeutic step in the healing process. For more information on Mark Anthony, the psychic lawyer, you can visit greatdayhouston.com. And again, his book is called Never Letting Go. All right, thank you all so very much for joining us today. So what did you think? Awesome. Yeah. And how does it make you feel? Much better? Much, much better. All right. Much better. That's what I call a great day. Thanks for joining us, everybody.